Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and today we're going to cover the barn sour blues. When a horse is barn sour, what happens is either they won't leave the barn, they'll start bulking and backing up because they don't want to leave the barn. When you give them the forward cues to uh, ride them off the property or you're uh, leading them off the property, they don't, they don't want to leave. Or they're already out, so as soon as you turn around, they'll want to start uh, jigging home, trying to run home, trot home, and it's really unpleasant and it can be dangerous. Um, some horses that are barn sour, you'll start going out on the trails and they'll try to spin and uh, go the direction they want to, which is back home, or they'll turn around and they start bucking. So this is uh, Chase. Chase is an eight-year-old quarter horse. Um, so we're going to be working with him today. Uh, I haven't really worked with him before. This is going to be the first day uh, going through the barn sour with him. I've ridden him maybe once out here just uh, for the owner. So everything we're going to do today is going to be on the ground as far as solving his behavior issue. We can correct 90% of under sa saddle issues from the ground, uh, at least 90% of it, by doing the exercises on the ground uh, before we get under saddle with them. Uh, as the owner has said, he goes out great, but when you turn around, it becomes a rodeo. So I've not had him out there yet, but we're going to go through the step-by-step, -step, easy to follow method for him today, um, so he can understand the lesson that we're trying to teach him. Now, some precepts you're going to want to make sure your horse knows how to do, as he knows how to lead well. In other words, if I'm walking, he walks. Um, if I stop, he stops. If I turn to the left, all the way around, he goes around me. And if I walk into him, he turns, he gives in, and lets me walk into him, and he'll turn with me. All right, so those are the precepts you're going to want to get done. And, you know, as another example of being barn sour, people are barn sour too. You know, going to work, unless you're, like, super late, you're going to get in trouble. You go, you know, at normal speed, going to work, no big deal. You take your time getting to work. But boy, on the way home, I bet you're doing 80 plus to get home because home is where you want to be. It's a nice, relaxing place. You just got off work. So part of being a barn shower for horses is they'll want to get back to the barn uh, to, to be with their buddies. All right. Or they want to get back to the barn because that's where they know home is. And when they bulk and refuse to go out, and then they're saying, no, I don't want to leave home or I want to stay with my buddies. And we are covering Buddy Sour in the video that we have up right now. Uh, part one, but as far as being barn sour, we're going to go through that today. Um, even horses that are with other horses out on the trail, sometimes they are barn sour as well, even though you're with a group of horses because they want to get home that bad. So the key to uh, overcoming barn sourness and to solving the barn sour issue is you're going to take twice as long to get home as you did going out. So right now, I already know that Chase knows how to lead uh, pretty good because I just led him down here to the arena. So we're going to go out on the road out right now. I'm going to take him out on the road on the lead line. And uh, we're going to take twice as long to get home because we're, he needs to start learning patience. Horses that are barn sour, buddy sour, etc., have no patience. They, they start building up stress and anxiety because they're not big of a... Uh, big of a hurry to get home and then even out on trails you know we start picking up the reins and the horse will sit there in this like trot in place and they get all jiggy uh, in this more severe cases so try to rip the reins out of your hands so try to rear up uh, anything they can do to get home so it's a very very dangerous habit and it's not very fun for us so let's show you how to beat these barn sour blues and we're going to go out on the road we'll see you there okay now we're out here we're out on a uh, road a gravel road and it's where we're going to start practicing and like I said, the key to uh, being barn sour and beating the barn sour blues is one, you take twice as long getting home as you did going out. And also the horse needs to learn patience. So this is going to help them learn patience. Um, we're going to start walking forward and then we're going to stop. And then we're going to, on a loose uh, lead line, we're going to let him stand for 45 seconds. If he doesn't stand, then we'll start going through correction. And then when we do our second part later on this week, we'll be under saddle and we'll be doing the same thing and we'll go over those exercises there too. So we're gonna take a couple more steps and we're gonna go ahead and stop. Then we're gonna go ahead and stop again. So here we go, and, and there he stopped. So every time we stop, he's uh, learning more patience. He's learning, he can get, he's still going home, but he just has to have patience doing it. And he's gonna stand here on a long, uh, on a loose line. Steps. Now we're going to stand here for another good uh, 40, 45 seconds, if not a little bit longer. Uh, he's staring at something over there, but he is being uh, patient. Get your head back over here. He is being patient and uh, listening. So that's, that's what we like, that's what we want to see, and building up patience. 
So the same cues that we're doing on the ground with him right now are going to be the same cues under saddle. The only difference we're on his back and he'll have a uh, snapple, a full cheek snapple on. Um, so that's the but the cues are going to be the same. I want you to stop and I want you to wait. So that's what, uh, you know, it's just going to be the same thing. We're just doing it on the ground first because we're a little bit safer on the ground. Most of your under saddle problems can be taken care of on the ground. At least 90% of the uh, issue can be solved on the ground before you ever get on your horse. And that includes bucking, rearing, flipping over backwards, barn sour, buddy sour, uh, running away with you, whatnot, can be solved on the ground, 90% of it, before you ever get under saddle, which makes it safer for us and easier for us. And the horse also. I mean, if you just jumped on your horse and, you know, let's say you're you start with the goal, let's say the goal was to get my horse out of bucking, or the goal was to, uh, a canter, to canter my horse that's never uh, cantered before that, or that has a bucking problem, you just hop out, you start with a goal, you start with a wreck. If you start with steps in teaching the horses what we want them to do, or take them out of a certain behavior issue, then it doesn't become a wreck, all right? So let's go ahead and walk them a little bit more. And then we're going to go ahead and stop. He stopped. I'm going to ask him to take a couple of steps back. One more. So there we just asked him to take a couple of steps back. I'm going to put his head back straight again. And, uh, and we're going to stand here for another 45 seconds. He does really good on this. And that'll be uh, it today on uh, part one of uh, the Barn Sour Blues and solving Barn Sour. Uh, we're going to do this for about a week with him. And then we'll be back to uh, do under saddle with him. Uh, here in about probably five or six days, we'll come back and do another video on uh, uh, barn or on uh, doing it under saddle, solving the barn star blues under saddle. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed the video. You have a great day and enjoy your horse. Thank you.